And down here is my slime farm. Down, down, down we go, down we go. And hopefully it'll load up its daytime, so I think it'll be... Yep, it's working! <laughs> Listen to that. So, let's see what we got in here. Oh, here comes a big dude. And the big dude comes down, and this is monkey farm design. He comes down, and he gets... And, oh, there's another big dude. He gets burned up and chopped down, and, oh, let's take a look at him. Burned up. And they all drown in there. Hey, how did you get up here? How in the world did that one get up here? I have absolutely no idea. Anyway, they just... Yeah, it works pretty well, because this is actually... I was really lucky. This is actually four slime chunks all together. Um, so I can... Here, let me make sure. So there's one here, and I'll just go over and show you the actual layout. So basically, it's four complete slime chunks all together. I use the, um, uh, the online... Uh, web page that they have out there that you just put in a bunch of coordinates and it gives you the coordinates of slime chunks and I found these four together so I just dug everything out um, so there's one here one there one right there and one in the back there and I mean four together I can very easily get tons of slimes I'm just rolling in slimes so and so yeah the um like I said, it was monkey farm design. The little guys drown, and then when they're small enough, uh, when they break up, they actually, the big guys can't fall to the level below, but the small ones can. And then they come in here, and just look at all those little slimies. Oh, they're so cute. Yeah, that's a lot of slimes. How many are looking out here? 82. <laughs> so, yeah, that's a lot of slimes. Yeah, I don't have anything to kill them. I just like coming down here and playing with them all. <laughs> so we just swing. Oh, let me turn that off. So I just kill them all. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Alright. Ow! Oh, I'm. I was like. They can't hit me. There we go. Alright. Uh, okay, that takes care of them. Ooh, I need to enchant stuff. So now, uh, they're all done. And to get out, you see... This, I designed all myself. I love this. Push the button. Bottom one comes out. Top one goes in. And woohoo! And it's just on a delay trigger. Um, so... I really like that. I actually want to make a, like, a hallway that has this design and you can make like hidden staircases in your hallways or something. I think that would be cool. Uh, oh, and you see even more! Here they come! So yeah. Yeah, slime farm works great. <laughs> um, so that's the slime farm and next we're going to go up to the nether. And up, 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 up. And to be honest, I, I built that at level 20 if I wanted to, which I don't really need to. I could actually just build a whole other identical slime farm right on top of it. Because <laughs> now we can go up to 40. Slimes can go up to 40. But let me just throw these in here. And I'm just going to put my helmet back on. Let me. Have I ever had this music disc before? Pink? Do I have pink? Oh yeah, I do. Okay. Uh, let me... Got some ender eyes in there. Okay, I'm not gonna stop wasting time. Um, okay. So, we've seen all those buildings. Okay, it's time for the nether. Here we go. And there's my nether portal. And so I have the... All the lava coming down the hill, and I put a like a monster head on my nether portal. 
I don't know, I always thought it was kind of conventional everyone will put a monster head around their nether portal, but I like my monster head. <laughs> and up we go. Alright, so let me get sh give you at least a look at him before we go inside. So yeah, there he is. I don't know, I think he looks pretty good. So in we go. And I actually lucked out on this nether portal, on the nether this time. Like my last one, my first roll, I had such bad luck with the nether. I, there were no nether fortresses near me at all. I mean, there was so bad that I just turned on creative mode and zoomed around, and I still couldn't find any flying around. And this is... Eh, I'm trying to teach myself how to grow mushrooms, basically. I haven't ever made a mushroom farm before, so I'm, that's my next one of my next projects. Um, but I still need to work out, learn really the mechanics of mushroom growing. So this time I really looked out, because back there, that's where my first portal came out, and right here... I'm standing on another fortress, right here. Uh, this used to be a walkway, and I completely mined it. But nether fortress, yeah, that's how close I am. But I'm not going in there yet. I want to show you my village with all the villagers that I have. And I'm still working on the mechanics. I know it has to do with the amount of doors. Um, in your village and stuff, but I mean, I put three bazillion doors in my village, and I didn't feel like any of the villagers. I mean, I didn't see any kids running around. So here's my village, and as you see, I have completely lit up the entire thing, um, and put a wall around it so everyone's nice and safe in here. And I also got. A police force <laughs> going in and out and around and I don't know this is me my attempt of making a little home to create more door rooms and what was interesting on this village it has a desert temple in the middle of the village so I mean this is pretty cool all right, I I gotta figure out where in this texture pack these these guys come from because I actually prefer the big nose to these dudes. So I think I'd rather just have them all be big nose. Anyway, so yeah, this is a regular Nether temple or a uh, desert temple, and there was a trap down there. I took care of it. I did my first time. My last road, I had a desert temple, and I didn't know it was trapped in. Kaboom! So. Oh my gosh, it's using my house. Aw, she's using my house. Cool. Anyway, so that's my village. Did I just hear something? Is anybody out there? Oh, there's a creeper. Can I get him? Ha <laughs> ha! Eh, I think that's way too far away now. Eh. Yeah! Alright. So... That's everything here, and let's go back. 